Hey, what's up, everybody? I figured get a chance to discuss what I thought about the movie Death on the Nile, which is a sequel to the Agatha Christie movie Murder on Orient Express. So it brings back the renowned detective Hercule Poindois and, of course, his sidekick Brock. And this time around, you know, instead of the adventure being on a, you know, the Orient Express, it happens to be on a cruise ship, um, cruise ship by the name of SS uh, Carnac, and of course, the, the child takes the renowned detective to, you know, Egypt. And I think it's pretty cool because, you know, you get to see the, the pyramids and the culture and the scenery. And I'll be honest, I've always had a fascination with ancient Egyptian culture and it's been a place I've always uh, wanted to see for myself one day. And of course, you know, Herr Khalifa, his uh, backstory is also explored in the opening of the movie and kind of, I guess, it kind of explains how he ended up with that crazy looking mustache that he sports uh, throughout the movie. And, you know, the murder mystery this time around involved uh, by the, uh, the character Annette, played by Wonder Woman's uh, Gail Godot. And the detective tries to figure out who was the one uh, responsible uh, for the crime. And of course, like the, you know, similar to like the first movie, it's like he tries to piece together who, like I said, who was the one that did it. And this, I mean, I will admit, <laughs> I actually enjoyed the second one more than the first one. I felt like the pacing was a little bit faster, like the story was more interesting to watch. And it was more, op you know, open world, whereas like the first one in the train felt a little bit more like a closed environment. So it was kind of nice to see a, a different change of uh, scenery. And, you know, I guess for those that like murder mystery stories, you know, I get on those that read uh, books by Agatha Christie, then I guess I would say this is the particular story uh, for you and those that, you know, enjoy the work of Kenneth Braga, who plays, you know, the detective. So I would definitely uh, recommend it. I mean, I don't know if it's something I'll see most of the time, but I'll say it's good for what it is. So that's my verdict. Okay, everyone. Uh, look forward to sharing what will be my eventual review on the Uncharted uh, movie, you know, st you know, starring Tom Holland and Mark Wahlberg, you know. So I'll be looking forward to sharing my reviews on that particular film. Okay, everyone, until next time, see you soon.